everybody, it's Claire, and I also have my beautiful friend Vicky with me today. Hi guys. I'm so excited for today's video because we just filmed a complete beautiful makeup look on Vicky. Just it's perfect for any sort of special event you may have coming up. She actually is wearing the dress that she wore to her sister's wedding a few years ago. Yes. So we yes. were kind of inspired by creating a makeup look you can wear to a wedding, especially in the summertime, and we wanted to flatter her beautiful blue eyes with some really rich tones that are all from the drugstore. This entire look is pretty much from the drugstore, which who doesn't love a drugstore price point? Vicky also has a YouTube channel as well. She is my YouTuber friend here in Virginia. There's yes. not a lot of us here. So she does a lot of how-to videos, beauty tutorials. Yeah. What else would you say is like your favorite? Oh, I love doing like uh, reviews, but I've also gotten more into doing some, uh, some lifestyle videos. So it's like beauty and lifestyle and just everything that's kind of like for the everyday girl trying to navigate the world in makeup. I will link all her information in the description box below for you guys to check out. And please let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this where I apply makeup on other people and I'm I'm loving it because I'm in uh, down clothes and workout clothes right now. Make sure you guys also hit the notification bell to see my videos. I know a lot of you haven't been seeing them when they pop up. Thank you guys so much for being here and let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm starting out with the L'Oreal Paris Age Perfect Cell Renewal Rosy Cream. <laughs> That's a mouthful. And we both agreed we really liked this moisturizer. It smelled so good and it gave a rosy tint to help awaken the skin. They claim it, that's what it does and we really liked the way it looked. So now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This is actually a dupe for the Benefit Professional if you guys are looking for one. And it adds an extra layer of hydration to her skin, which I really liked. Now moving to brows, I chose the Maybelline Brow Drama Pro Palette. This is my first time using it with a flat liner brush. And I'm just doing as I normally apply brows. I like to do little hair like strokes with my flat liner brush and just get it all in the same direction so that we have some structure to uh, shape her eye makeup. And then another way to add structure is by adding a little bit of concealer. I'm using the Wet n Wild New Concealer and I'm using this actually to prep her eyelids as well. I'm really enjoying the way this looks um, before eyeshadow. Once you get that place down, you're just gonna wanna take a little bit of translucent powder to set that on top of the eyelids so that you don't have any creasing happening. Now I'm taking this Maybelline Modern Metallics Palette in Chai Latte. It's one of my favorites, and I'm starting with the matte crease shade. And I love these eyeshadow palettes because they're so easy and clear cut on where to place the eyeshadows, but we're gonna really start with the crease color first with the fluffy brush so we create an outline before we go in with the gold eyeshadow here. And I actually dampen my brush so that the color payoff is even stronger. These eyeshadows are very pigmented, I am impressed, but I think if you wet them with the uh, shimmer shades, you get even better pay Payoffs, and then just press it on the lids all the way across. I even lifted her brow bone so I could really get in there and go up into her crease with that shade. Oh, I just love using gold with blue eyes so much. This palette's perfect for blue-eyed gals. Then I chose that darker brown shade and I'm just lining her eyes with this. This is gonna actually be kind of like our eyeliner step. And then I'm gonna take a tapered blending brush with a little more of that deeper brown color and just soften the edges a little bit more here. So I usually have my clients curl their lashes. It's just too much of a risk. I do not want to clamp their eyeballs shut. And I also usually have them apply their more their mascara themselves because they can really get in there and coat it up better than I can because I can't really get the leverage. Um, but she's just using the L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Carbon Black Mascara in Waterproof. If you're ever doing a smoky eye on a client, it's always so helpful to do the eyes before the face so that you can do this step uh, just by cleaning up the under eye area and it just looks so nice and fresh before you go in and start your face makeup. So we chose some lashes. I chose the Ardell number 110s, which we can get from pretty much any drugstore. They are so beautiful and more on the natural side, which we wanted to stick to since we didn't want to take away from the eyeshadow and it just really suited her eye shape. And I went in with this Maybelline Brow Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe to just fill in any sort of gaps that I may notice after I do the eye makeup. This always helps. If you do a smokier eye, the eyebrows will tend to look a little bit more sparse. So you do want to make sure you fill them in. And I just thought it really made a big difference uh, going in and just doing a few extra hair-like strokes within the brow. And this eyebrow pencil did a really nice job of not making it look overdone as well. 
I was really excited about this next step. We used the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Cover Foundation in the shade 302. And I always like to go along the jawline to make sure it matches with the client's neck. And so Vicky says a lot of the time, we both agreed how hard it is to find drugstore foundations that match your actual skin tone. And this ended up being really great on her. And I just press it in with the brush first and then take a damp beauty blender. This is a real techniques a beauty blender and I love this one um, and just press that in and then I ended up taking a Maybelline uh, concealer stick in the shade deep to contour never really um, used this on anyone besides myself and I loved the way this looked on her uh, what it's a little scary at first but once you blend it out um, it's gonna give us a nice uh, warmth to her face because we just kind of brought the life back into it using this little uh, concealer stick and it just made it so easy to apply on her Next, I use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. Underneath her eyes, I just push that in. This is a apparently a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. And I have to say, I do have Tarte Shape Tape. Um, the coverage is not quite the same as Tarte Shape Tape, but very, very similar. Kind of almost goes to a powdery finish. Um, starts out creamy and if you guys like that, I mean, I love this on her. It is a great concealer um, for drugstore price point. I use just the Laura Mercier translucent powder here. So this is the one drugstore thing, guys. I'm sorry, I tried to keep it mostly drugstore, but um, I baked her under eye area and then just dust a little bit throughout the rest of her face. She, I liked the way the glowiness was looking, so I didn't want to take away from that, so I just used a little bit. Then I took that same crease color in the Modern Metallics palette and I went side to side with that to start warming up her under, under eye area. This really starts to make the look a lot more smoky. And then I took the darker eyeshadow color in the palette and really focused it um, on a flat liner brush very close to her lower lash line. This gives a really nice gradient of color and is such a flattering way to make the eyes pop. And to bronze up her skin, I chose this Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer that everybody's talking about. I went out and bought it this week before we filmed this video, and it is a gorgeous color, and it's affordable compared to Sephora. I mean, it's still probably the highest price point item that I bought for this tutorial today, but we both really love the way it looks. It smells like the beach. You guys have to try this out. It is a very, very beautiful uh, formula, especially on the skin. It wasn't too orange at all. I did use a little cosmetic wedge to chisel out her cheekbone a little more. I just love doing this on clients because it just gives that extra definition uh, without having to do any cream contour. This is a really great trick to bake the underneath contour part so that you can get that definition without feeling like you have to do a lot to your face. This is just a very easy way to do it. So I'm just using that same Laura Mercier translucent powder and just going right from the mid ear down to the corner of the mouth. While that bakes, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Shaping Pencil in the shade Magnetic Mauve. And I actually wouldn't really recommend this pencil. It was very dry and hard to work with. We ended up loving the color, but as you can see, it's kind of just dragging across her lip, uh, which we don't want. But I did end up smoothing it out with the color uh, Almond Rose, which is also from the same line. This is a really beautiful shade to kind of just soften the lip look. Um, I like to go with a little bit of a lighter color on the center just to give the lips more dimension. I did just take a little bit of a uh, Cream Sheen Boy Bait Lip Gloss by MAC. That was the other thing, just to soften it and give it a little bit of shine on the lips. Um, I was just lacking a little bit of hydration here, so I wanted to make sure that it really pops and complements the eye makeup. And then you just want to dust away any of the excess powder from your bake. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this step-by-step -step makeup look on my beautiful friend, Vicky. Again, I will list all her information in the description box below. Hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye.